Hey vlog, so lazy vlog this week because I've been outside all week and it rained every single day which is brutal and so now it's laundry day, I'm sorry I look terrible um, but yeah lazy vlog, so lazy in fact that I'm gonna do it all in one take so I don't have to spend like 8 months on editing so I am gonna jump right into it so first thing is <laughs> okay so I work in an industry that for some reason loves telephones. I think it's because a lot of people in the industry are older um, and so they just really love telephones. Like they'd have rotary ones if given the option. Uh, <laughs> I'd want one if given the option too though. I love a good rotary phone. But my point is, is that this means I have to call people a lot on the phone and I really, really hate talking on the phone. Um, I love talking. I do it all the time. Big on it, one round, you know, loving it. But I hate phones. If if given the option, I'll talk to someone in person, or I'll text them, or I'll email them, or I will telegram them, or I will send a passenger pigeon, or I will phone them. Like like in that like I really hate calling people, and I don't I don't know why. It just makes me really nervous, and not a lot makes me nervous. I'm a pretty overly, you know, confident person, but I hate calling and. I dread it and I avoid it, but I can't avoid it because of the industry, and so I'm having to make a lot of phone calls, and it makes me anxious every time. Um, and this leads directly into my next point, actually, which is uh, how many awesome things you can do online, specifically in the case of avoiding phone calling people. So like email, for example. But for me, the, the really revolutionary one was ordering food online, because that takes out all the awful bits, and there's food. But here's the thing. Ordering food online always sucks. It never doesn't suck. Why is that? Why, like, it sounds like it should be the best thing in the world. You're taking food, and you're getting it, and you don't really have to interact with anybody except for the person who hands it to you, and even that is minimal. But for some reason, every time I try to order food online, instead of just being like, yay, food, I find myself screaming, why do I need an account at like my computer at all hours of the night and making everyone mad because it's so much harder. And somehow when I order it online, even though I pick out everything I want, they always get it wrong. <laughs> why? Why why do you hate me? People who have made the food orderings online? Hmm? I don't know. But it's awful. And it doesn't make sense that it's awful because it should be so much better. But I find myself instead opting for an awkward phone conversation instead of fighting with my computer and just whipping it across the room. I can't afford to keep buying new laptops due to online food ordering range. It's expensive. I can't frackin' do it. So instead, I have to find fun ways of calling for food and find ways of making talking on the phone fun. Which... Actually, it's fairly easy if you are as inventive as I am, but it still shouldn't be this hard. I should be able to be like, pizza.com, send me all the pizza and wings. Okay, thanks. And the, it should show up. I should give them my money. It should be super easy. Why? Who designs these? Find me the companies who design these so I can be mad at them in the face. If you have any really hilarious food ordering stories, please put them in the comments. Um, the only time I can think of that I have a really crazy food ordering story was actually when I was the one taking the order, and it was on the phone, and it was terrible. And I worked at Boston Pizza, and they called and said they wanted to order a hamburger, and so I sent them a hamburger, and they wanted a hamburger pizza, and in fairness, I, f I still feel like I, there was no way I could have done that. But they, I got in a lot of trouble. I hated that job. But, <laughs> but yeah. Ordering pizza online. Ordering anything online is super hard when it's food related. When it's everything that isn't food, it's awesome. You know. And it shows up on time and in good condition. And yet food is terrible. I don't know why. I mean, in other countries, you can order anything. There are just delivery services. You can call and be like, hey, I want... Like a Big Mac and like a six pack of beer and Doritos. And they're like, okay. And they go get it for you. And then they bring it to your house. And I mean, yeah, that's on the phone. That's terrible. But like, step up. 
North America, Europe has all these things, and they'll probably have it on the computer soon, and you won't even have to talk to anybody, and it'll work. I feel like I've gone on for a long time about this, but there is no end to my ire about this. I'm very iresome in regards to it. But yeah, other than that, hopefully next week I'll be able to tell you what I've been working on. I'm working on getting permission to talk about what I'm working on. And I hope you have a really good week until I see you again. And I hope that I survive the week. Because this one's going to be fun. And until then, have a really great week. The subway is that way. If you like what I did now, usually it's more edity, but good. And I have Tumblr and Twitter, which are similar, but not the exact same. I do this every week, and I love you so much. Okay, bye-bye.